and we're back. Uh, happy Veterans Day, and thank you to all those that have served and are currently serving. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about college football, all the rankings, uh, the World Series that just ended, uh, cheating in sports, which Ben, I'm sure you'll be pretty good at that, and uh, Kenzie, who was all Ohio in the state track meet, finishing top 30, and Gentry, newest Oakland commit, District 12 Player of the Year. So, uh, congratulations to Kenzie. It says here she passed five girls in the last 200 meters to be all state. That's pretty impressive. Congrats to Gentry, too, D12 Player of the Year. Congrats on uh, committing to Oakland. So, uh, where do you want to start? I say we start with. I uh, say uh, we start start with is Bama dead? Bama won. Where's it at? Oh, they yeah, made it in the final it. four. We have to do that last. Why? Actually, let's start with it. All right. Is Bama dead? What do you guys no. think? Yeah. No. They're not dead. dead no. But I mean, I, come on. Nick Saban, you cannot count Bama dead. Nick Saban. Yeah, no, not they're dead. not. They're not dead, but they're not making the final four. All right. Four, yeah. They're, they're not dead. No, no, no. Unless some absolutely wild stuff happens, they're not. They're not getting in. But yeah, know. they're not getting in for sure. But. They're not dead. I you you say. lose two games in college football, and you're pretty much out. That, that's why there needs to be a 12-team playoff. Yeah, that's what they're doing here in a couple of years, I yeah. think. Yeah. Uh, so, here's the way I look at it. Bama, I think Bama this year is dead. Like, I don't think there's a shot they get. Yeah, in. this year. See, that's they're, where you're this wrong. This year. This year. Next year, they're going to be fine. Yeah, the year after that, they'll be fine. See, that's where you're wrong. I don't think they're dead. I think that they can still, like, compete – but they're not making a Final Four. They might no, get into no, a bowl no, no. game. Like the, 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 what, they're the still Rose gonna get bowl. a New Year's Six bowl. Yeah. I think. Yeah, they're getting. Yeah. A bowl but they gotta win this sure. week. They gotta beat Ole Miss. Which yeah, I agree with Tony here. Like he's saying, they got Ole Miss this week. Two yeah. games. You lose two games. Well, I think the yeah. winner winner of that game is probably gonna go to the uh, SEC championship. Who was it? Ole Miss and Bama. Mm. Yeah, because isn't because Georgia and Tennessee are in the same. Uh, like if if Ole Miss wins out, they're they're in the SEC championship. I don't think I feel like Ole Miss isn't very. I don't think Ole Miss is very good either. But I Bama, think, I think Bama is just. If I'm not mistaken, the game's at Ole Miss, and Ole, uh, Bama playing on the road this year has been absolutely atrocious. Yeah. Well, that, yeah, that's for, wait. Was that LSU? About, was that LSU game a home game that they just no, lost? They, that was at LSU. Yeah, it was at yeah. Just so they haven't, yeah, lost like, a, yeah. haven't lost a home game, have they? Big shout out for Brian Kelly uh, to go do what he's doing at LSU. Couldn't carry the tradition. Yeah, uh, he's really Notre turning Dame, around huh? that. Pro- he's really turning around that program down there. That's just Notre Dame blood. I mean, that fight in him. Yeah, it's a, it's a shame. The game. They didn't, it's a shame he didn't stick around in Notre Dame. Well, you know, like, when you don't, for real. When you don't recruit people Big and use millions of dollars, it's hard. I don't know about that one. See, that's where you're wrong. <laughs> See, that's where you're wrong. Yeah. Let, let me stop you right there, bud. That's not true. Why? What? Why All what? right, but how about what has to happen for Bama to get back in? Uh, what do you need? Tennessee and Georgia. Tennessee both and Georgia lose. both have to lose. Uh, that ain't gonna happen. Yeah. Who? Who does Tennessee? Who Ohio Oregon State, State has. Pretty, Missouri, much, I think. pretty much everybody ahead of them would have to lose. Yeah. Oregon. You know, I, 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 I see a high State losing one one game. Yeah, uh, the Michigan game is really their only game. Right. Tennessee yeah, is not gonna lose. Oregon's not going to lose. I don't – LSU might. Yeah, USC I can see LSU. Will. Uh, USC is – Notre Dame is going to come Florida. up on top uh, versus USC. Short answer, Bama is not getting in. Yeah, Bama's not getting in. There's not a, Short there's not a chance. Is Bama even is, in? Oh, all right. Wrong is Bama. ND back? They're also another team that – no, they're not dead, but they aren't making the Final Four. Well, no, no, we're, no crap. Tony, we're, Tony, we're not talking about, we're not getting, about in. getting in. We're not talking about getting in the Final Four. We're just talking. What do you mean by dead? I mean, you uh, can't. T- Tony, it says, it is says ND back. back. Yes. We're well, not talking about. When you about, say back, I would like say, you mean like back, like back for this year or like back for years to come. Like back for this year. Tony, just. Obviously, no, they're not back for this year because, you know, they ain't getting in. So. T- everything doesn't have to be back. It, to getting get, back. Uh, that's, getting that's back. See, that's basing, where you're wrong. We're not basing everything off the playoff. So, well, you know. Granted, that's be. pretty much the only thing that matters be. in college football anymore. Yeah, nobody Because nobody plays the a bowl, bowl game games. anymore. A bowl game is pretty much just 
yeah, reps, yeah, reps for your backups. Yeah, yeah so. it's not even worth watching. Look at me, I won the Sugar Bowl. What's it matter? Yeah, if, if you're not in the playoff, the it don't four. matter. I don't know, but that run run game that Notre Dame had going versus Clemson, that was pretty impressive. What was it, 265 rushing yards? I mean, they were just – I didn't even watch that. Drew Pine, he's he's not it, man. They just need to keep on pounding that pebble. I uh, I saw a thing. Notre Dame's ranked 122nd in the FBS at throwing. Yeah, they are bad at throwing. They're horrible. But how about uh, true freshman Benjamin Morrison with the two picks, one the 97 yard pick six. Oh, dude, that that was was insane. Ben, I don't think I've ever seen you that happy. Nothing. There ain't. I mean, what was it? We played Clemson two years ago at Notre Dame, and they were the number one team. And I think we beat them by three, and then the ACC championship. But ever since that, Notre Dame's beat them, except the ACC championship. Wait, Notre Dame's independent, I thought. I they are. Yeah, but they but play it was a like half the, ACC no, schedule. No, it was when I know the, they play ACC. It was when the COVID basketball. year was, and they had to join a uh, conference. Yeah. yeah. Oh, they went yeah. to the ACC and lost. What else we got? All right. Astros. A high state. Concern? Question mark? No. A little no. bit. No. I'd be a little Did you concerned. see the, how windy it was? And All right. But Travion if you got the be- didn't thing. play. Well, but if you got shut, the best. See, if that's you, where you're wrong. If you got the best team in the country, you should be able to run the ball I, I, and put right. up, win by All at right. least All more right. than two touchdowns. You see, I don't. All right. Let's get this straight now. Ohio State's not the best team in the country. No, I don't think they're the best team. They're the you, you, you go to second Georgia, or you third go to, for You go to sure. Georgia, and then two, three, four is just so far down the list from Georgia, it's not even funny. Georgia's a head and shoulders above everybody else. Yeah. Yeah, I t- Georgia's a better team. But I, if I'm a high State fan, I a little. I mean, a one in what okay, are they? One, one in seven game. Northwestern. Okay, yeah. One bad game when the wind's what thirty miles an hour. Uh, fifty actually. Fifty fifty miles an hour. One yeah, bad but game. you I should mean, be that's... able to beat a one in seven Northwestern team more than fourteen. See, they were pounding out. the ball a lot, and Travion Henderson wasn't playing. So Mayan I mean, Williams got more carries this year than Travion. Mayan, I yeah, remember I was watching dude, that first. Half. I'm not kidding. Mayan Williams. Every it's always. One of them's hurt. Like, one of the others hurt. And I feel like the games the I've playing, the other the high state games I've watched, like, the big runs have always came from mine. I don't. I, I feel like I haven't seen a big run by Travion. Well, the, the problem is they keep trying to run these plays that they would run with Travion Henderson, like stuff like stretch to the outside yeah. that Four. that dude can't run. That I feel dude, like that, that dude, mine's they like can a little – They just run him right up the middle. Yeah, every he's time. like a, yeah, he's, he's a power. Short, they should not run him outside. Speed back, so. Now, Travion Henderson, yeah, you can run him outside because yeah. he's – He's that that dude's fast, but not not mine Williams. Yeah, he's Travion's a speed back. Mine Williams is the is uh back. what's his name going to be back anytime? Yeah, what's his name? He'll be uh, back. The Jigba. Uh, I don't even know I don't anymore. So if I'm him, I'm just sitting it out. Honestly, I mean, what's he going to be a top ten pick probably? Uh, his draft stock's going yeah, down. Yeah, he had uh, his draft stock's going down. How much really eligibility does he have last, last year? Huh? huh? Like he's what? a junior. Oh, okay. So, yeah. yeah, so he can declare. Uh, as, if draft. I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure his draft stock's going way down. Uh, probably. But uh, if I'm being honest, Ohio State and Michigan, loser of that game, I, I think loser of that game should be in, but it's just the fact that if you if you lose that game, you have no resume to get in. Yeah. If, if Are they in, like, the same, like, division in the Big mm-hmm. Ten? So, pr- yeah, so, so the loser can't doesn't get in. Big yeah, the Big Ten championship. The, and then the Big Ten. And then, it's either going to be Ohio State or Michigan to win the Big Ten. Yeah. So the loser, wouldn't the, yeah, the winner would probably get in. Yeah, yeah. so whoever wins that game. Well, I'm my, and honest to God, in my beliefs, Michigan and Ohio State are the, one of the, like, both top four teams, but yeah. it's just the way it all feels. I think Ohio State the way needs it. Works. Uh, t- tell me it's going to be a great game. I'm, tell me I'm how excited. unreal it would be if Ohio State and Michigan played in the playoffs. Yeah, that'd be. That would be unreal. That would be, uh, yeah, because, you know, it's. I don't know. Last year. I don't know if it's the best rivalry in college football, but it's one it, of it's the It's top two. Uh, I think it's. Well, I don't think it's two. What would be the other ones? Well, you got uh, Alabama, Auburn. No, I think. Alabama, Ohio Auburn used to be. Ohio State, Michigan. You got like, uh, who up, else? What are Ohio some State, Michigan's the one. Yeah. Ohio State, Michigan might be. Is a top like rivalry in all sports. Yeah. yeah. Except so. Duke UNC, I put that Duke, out. Yeah, yeah okay, yeah. Duke Bas- U- yeah. Basketball. Bas- basketball. No football, no, but Duke UNC. Sure, Duke yeah. UNC is for sure one. I put a high state Michigan in football too. Yeah, but in the NFL, 
What do you think the best NFL rivalry is? Oh, what is it? The um, Packers and Bears? Packers, Bears. Packers, yeah. Bears, Bears up there. Steelers, I mean, Ravens. Steelers, pa- Ravens. Packers, Vikings, too. Cowboys, yeah. Eagles. Yeah. yeah. Steelers yeah. and Ravens are. Yeah, yeah. I think they are good. Yeah. Well, I mean, spot. It's Ever basically the, the whole Bears, AFC North. Yeah, since... the whole AFC North is just NBA young boy. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. George Pickens, Bubs. baby. Wait, did you say the AFC North or the NFC North? AFC North. Uh, There's a bunch of. Uh, I was going to say. You NBA call Young the Boy. NFC North, NBA Young Boy with Kirk Cousins in it. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> How about that video of Kirk Cousins? Yeah. So. yeah. Uh, Kirk Cousins, the new nightmare. <laughs> All right, did anybody watch the World Series? No. I, I watched a little bit of it. I, I, I watched, watched a little I watched bit of it. All I saw was Jeremy Payne yes, won the World Series MVP. That's all I saw. Congrats to the Astros, I guess. No, no I, I wanted the Phillies to win. I wanted to see the Yankees win it. No, I hate the Yankees. I New mean, York, baby. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't want to. The Yankees don't need another one. They got 27 of them. Yeah. Hey, 28 wouldn't hurt. Last time they won was 2009. All right, what about this uh, – Supposedly, what what what's it say? Is something in the dirt like a? Oh yeah, some, so I didn't even. I think one of them dove for a fly ball or something or something like that, and he had there was like an imprint or like a. Uh, what, what did he call it? Um, there was something in the dirt too. It was like yeah. it was like a to like tell them what pitch is coming, which I can believe. That. I mean, okay. yeah, that's what the Astros Listen, are known for. Yeah. After all that's happened, why would the Houston Astros be cheating right now? After after everything that's happened. They got caught what, two, two, three years ago. They, they, what? They fired their coach. Their, I mean, the, the whole. Okay, pitchers around the MLB have been throwing at guys like Altuve, and Correa, Springer, all those guys for the past couple of years. Why would the Astros take a chance at cheating again? Koreans. I mean, they, they don't even play the on the Astros. I also, anymore. I also feel no, like they did though. I also feel like that stuff's not true because I feel like if they did get caught Bregman. again, if like it, if it was in broad daylight again. There'd be a huge deal about it. Yeah, it'd be yes, all. I don't know why. Aren't they like why repeal- would they take the chance? Aren't they like appealing I mean, this? Or like I, I don't think I so. Thought, I, don't I mean, MLB's got to do something about it eventually. But I mean, if they're still in the process of figuring out a punishment, why would the Astros cheat again and make it work? I mean, I, I just would not take that chance. The, the risk. But anyways, more. this brings us to the point of uh, cheating in all sports: football, baseball. I mean, I don't, I don't really know how you. Hey. I don't know how you can really successfully cheat in basketball. Hey yeah, man, if you ain't cheating, you ain't I trying. Let's a, be real. Come I did on. see a thing of uh, Dwight Howard had stick them all over his hands, and they threw the ball out, and got a new one. But that's okay, about yeah, it. Maybe, maybe that. I mean, I mean that, what about the MLB your, mm-hmm. MLB pitchers with like the Four, foreign substances? I don't. I don't think it's cheating. Yeah, but anything you can do, I've always so, like I, anything you can do to get a better grip on the ball. I don't think it's cheating. Now you want to cut the ball up with a nail file, or you want to get yeah. put some Vaseline on the ball. That's cheating, because well, you're not improving cheating. your grip. You just, you know what I mean? Spider tack, no. Yeah, but why? Like, I think it should just putting you know, Vaseline on it. Yeah, okay. That's like almost the same thing as putting pine tar on a ball. You're not getting a grip. Yeah, but you're just like you're really allowed. You're not gonna make it more slick. You're allowed to use the rosin them. bags and stuff. And yeah. But honest to God, I'm. Pitchers are still gonna cheat. Yeah, why, like I don't even understand why pitchers even use it. like. Yeah, it might but like you got to use like the perfect amount of pine tar. Like if you get too much, I mean it's gonna. I don't know. It's just. I think they I, should just. I mean, pitch. I don't think they need. That's anything. the thing. Like Garrett Cole using the spider tack. Yeah. And I, I, I honestly don't see a problem with it. I can. Uh, I mean, you, if there's, like, a big difference from, like, one year to another year, like a ZRA or, like, whatever that stuff goes up, then, yeah, there's got to be a yeah. problem. But uh, I, I just I just really don't see a problem with putting something on the ball to get a better grip. With the, now, the Astros pitchers have something on his hand. Yeah, game the Astro, Astros pitcher is walking off the field, and now whenever they walk off the field, they got to show the umpires their hands and their glove. He wiped it on his pants before he went to the umpire. Maybe he had an itch. Yeah, sure, Tony. Yeah, but I mean, you, you never know. But I mean, why would they take a chance? Well, I, I don't. Houston's got a lot to lose if they take a chance. I could, I could see he's. Uh, I can see, I, I can see him cheating again. Yeah. I what about like Bounty Gate? You think that was cheating? 
No, no it's bad. but it's wrong. No, it's not cheating. So basically, it's wrong. It's wrong but it, I don't think it's cheating. No, it, it's so not basically cheating, it's the Saints defensive coordinator. It this was back in like 2009. Like 2000. This was This was the year they won the Super. The when they won the Super. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This okay. was the year that so they the year, won the Super. The year the Saints won the Super Bowl. 2009. 2009, 2010, <laughs> whatever it was. The year they won the Super Bowl, the Saints defensive coordinator was paying players to hurt other people. Wow. Yeah, Sean Payton so was involved in it too. They made a movie you, about it. There's videos on it and stuff, but they were paying – I forget how much it was to take out Brett Favre. So, like, I mean, he would throw it, and then five seconds later, dude just got clobbered. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I, that's not cheating. I mean – I wouldn't say that's it's like, cheating. That's but not cheating, it's but it's not. It, it's it goes wrong. against like – it's wrong. It goes they against didn't pay the morals of the game. Yeah, it wouldn't be called It cheating. goes against if the they, morals If they the didn't game. get paid to do it, then I don't think it'd be called – it would be cheating. It's not if cheating, they're getting but paid. it's not. Yeah, they pay them so much for, like, hard hits. Yeah. If they hurt them, they, uh, they get money. What's a spy gate? Oh, that was so that's Patriots whenever the Patriots were the spying Jets. on. Yeah. The Jets practice. I don't know why you'd uh, want to spy on the Jets. Wait, was that back when they were, like, decent? I think that's when they had Mark Sanchez. It was, like, 2010, Sanchez. wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah. That's when they had Mark so that, Sanchez. I don't think that, that ain't cheap. That was, like, their last time they were in the playoffs, wasn't it? I don't think you can use technology for that kind of stuff. Now, deflate gate. Yeah. Is that like they that? still Tom don't Brady? know if Tom Brady was even it's like late. if they, they they still don't even know if Tom Brady was like involved or not. Yeah, I don't know. It's so just... the thing I heard is there's a video of a guy going into the I think it's a bathroom with the footballs. Is that what it was? I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I never saw. I, it. I don't know. It's been so long since I've heard about it, but I'm pretty sure he went into the bathroom with the footballs and then came back out with them. Yes, um, I don't know. I mean. Clean them off. Maybe possibly. I mean, I don't like it. Wasn't I don't think it was on. Was, was Tom Brady, Tom Brady involved though? Was I, mean, I don't think. The, I don't think he may not have did it, but he might have known a thing or two. He yeah, he probably, probably knew he was involved. Two, but was I don't think it was 2014 AFC Championship. I think for, against the Colts. Yeah, it was against the Colts. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, I, I just I feel like cheating in football is. I feel like the only, the easiest sport to cheat in is baseball. Yeah, because yeah, you got yeah. you know, because you don't got people right on top of you all the time. You're far. I don't know, but I've seen I've been seeing this play uh, like uh, blow up all over social media. Like when I think it's a runner on second and third, and the guy lays down a bunt, and the there's only two umpires in the game, right? No, there's no, four. there's a lot. There's no, like in high school games. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, the home plate umpire is watching the guy coming home, and the Guy in the field is looking for the guy going to uh, first. So the guy on second just doesn't even go. He's like 10 feet short of third. And he just runs home. Huh. And it's like blowing up everywhere. And they still like, no one's like caught on to it yet. I mean, I mean that, that's, that's just smart. You got to give it to him. I'd give it to him. That's just smart. Now, <clears throat> uh, another way I've seen people, well, seen cheating is uh, corking the bats. Yeah. Yeah. Even though that, I, even though it doesn't work, it's scientifically proven it doesn't work. I don't know if that has anybody like corked the bat recently. No, nah, it's because it doesn't work. Yeah, I, I mean, it makes the bat lighter, so that you lose power. I mean, yeah, you get control, but I mean, that bat's bound to break eventually, especially if you're drilling a hole in it and yeah. replacing it with cork. I don't know. You ever seen the video of the guy uh, that uh, his bat so broke? Sad, that, I think he played for the Reds. So I forget Sosa what. was a cub, It wasn't wasn't Sosa, it? but his bat Cubs. broke, and he dead sprinted over there, grabbed the bat, and ran off the field. Oh, I t- was he, like, down in the d- – was it, like, back in the, uh, like, 80s or 90s? Because I've seen a video where, like, they, they – I, who, What, what was that uh, George Brett one? Was that – Oh, that uh, – What was that? The pine tar went up too high Yeah, on the, the pine tar. And he nuked the ball. Yeah, I don't th- – Yeah, pine tar up on the bat. Like, I don't think that has anything to do with anything. I – I looked it up why it was why it's illegal. Evidently, it, uh, oh, so the pontor, the bat sticks to the bat longer or something like that. I don't which think gives that. it a better contact and ball goes farther yeah, or something. I don't think that's I don't know. It, I, it's stupid. It can't make that much of a difference. What other cheating is? I don't think they uh, need any kind of substance. I think they but just I saw their, play with what they thing, got. Uh, and that'll do it. Albert Bell, they used to play for the Indians. Or guardians, or whatever you want to call them now, he got the he got caught corking a bat, but they took the bat. The umpires took the bat and locked it in their dressing room, 
and one of the one of his teammates crawled in through the ceiling and got the bat and replaced it with another teammate's bat. Huh. Ain't no way. And whenever the umpires realized all the ceiling laying on the floor, <laughs> they demanded the bat be brought back. That actually, they could have gotten away with that too. They could have if the ceiling wasn't laying on the floor. That's actually insane. All right. So now to finish, what's your top four? Top call four. College football. Ooh, I don't know. Ooh. I'm going to go Georgia. Georgia, I don't know if I want. Is this top? Is this what you got right here? I I put my top four right here. I I I don't know. I mean Georgia. I don't know if I could put a high state too. I don't know. I'm gonna say Georgia, a high state. I don't know. I think Oregon's pretty good. I'm gonna put Michigan and Oregon. I think Oregon's pretty good. I think I think Oregon's pretty good too, and I think Oregon's came a long way. From I do not. Uh, game. I do not think TCU should be. In no, the top. I don't even think TCU should TCU, be in the top ten. TCU Their schedule get, is terrible. TCU would, would get, get ran. The Big Twelve is terrible. TCU is going to get ran by Texas. This oh week. yeah, yeah. But the way it seems, if TCU <clears throat> wins out, they're in. Well, I, I Georgia will obliterate them. I don't oh, think. Oh, dude. It'd be ugly. Yeah, the Big 12 so bad. Waste it's of time. Now, I got mine. Georgia one, Ohio State two, Michigan three, Tennessee four. I think, I think those are the top four teams. I don't think it's, I, I don't think it's close to be honest with you. When you say top four, do you mean like who do I think the four best teams who, in the country? The four, yeah, or that's, who what, do that's I think what I'm the, saying. The four that are getting the in. The four that are going to get in, because I think the four that are going to get in, either Michigan or Ohio State is going to get in. Because you, I don't think they're going to put both of them in. Because I don't think they the would, loser doesn't have a resume sh- at all. Should. Loser hasn't beat anybody. The yeah. only way I see both of them getting in is if the game is like a double overtime game, like win by win. Yeah. You know. A field goal. Or yeah. Something. That's the only way I see both of them getting in. Now, yeah. what I think is going to happen is Georgia one, Ohio State or Michigan two, uh, Tennessee three, and then. I don't know, maybe Oregon four. I I could see. Wait, is USC still undefeated or they lose? They lost. I'm. I could see. They have you think lost. they could put if like? Could USC still get in the Pac-12 championship? Yeah. Are they in the Pac-12? Right. Yeah. Yeah. I could see either the winner of the Pac-12 getting in. Would Possibly. Oregon and USC play? Huh? Would Oregon and USC play in the championship? Yeah, I think. I could see if. Uh, my, TCU I, uh, loses. I could see either Oregon or USC. I think, TCU's the big. I ball. think if, uh, I think if Oregon loses to USC, Pac 12s out. Yeah. Probably. But who you? I don't. I don't. In? I don't care if they got one loss. Honest to God, that's how. That's where I see LSU getting in. No, I don't think you can put a two loss team. You in. can't. But who else are you gonna put in? You can't put USC in. Uh If Oregon loses. They lost to, uh, what were they, like 18th ranked Utah or something? Huh? Wasn't Utah ranked when they uh, Utah beat them? Who, USC? Yeah. USC, what happened? How lose Utah? I know, but I, USC has no resume, though. Yeah, but. I mean, at least Oregon's blowing the doors off the teams they're playing. Yeah. How about that uh, week one, though, against Georgia, even though they're the best team in the country? That was pretty ugly. Oh, dude, that, that game was horrible. I Chick Oregon, I I mean, does look like a completely different team. Yeah. But at the same time, they haven't played anybody anywhere near on the scale of them. UCLA, UCLA's pretty good. They, UC, I'm not saying UCLA ain't good. UCLA would also get beat by four touchdowns by uh, Georgia. I'm, I Maybe feel like one. any team in the country would get beat by four touchdowns. Yeah, by I think Georgia. every team. In yeah, Georgia. That's what I'm saying. Lose it, I think it'd be more like two against, against with Ohio State. Oh my, of course. It's, Give me a break. It probably, yeah. Probably more like two. I, I got, know. I got Georgia, Ohio State, Tennessee, Michigan. That's what I'm saying. Those with. are the four best teams, but those, those are the four best the four teams. Those are the four that are going to get in. So that's just I'm the way with. it works when you only allow four teams in a uh, playoff. Right, here's the four best teams. Would, do we just Th- those do are the four best teams. Georgia, uh, Ohio State, Michigan, Michigan Tennessee. Get in, huh? I think it's going to be Georgia. Ohio State. getting in. Georgia. Georgia State or Michigan. I feel like both of them. I feel like Ohio they State. They both deserve Michigan. to be in. They both deserve to be in. <laughs> yeah, Ohio State should happen. be in. 
If TCU loses, then I can see both. If TCU yeah. loses mm-hmm. once, they're probably done for. I can see, if TCU oh, loses, TCU, I can see. TCU has to win out. If TCU TCU loses, I can see a high state in Michigan again. TCU's there. not going to be Texas. I could too. Here's he the thing. Says, uh, he also says undefeated. That's like. Liberty's not. I don't know that they let. I legitimately team. don't know that they let Oregon in as bad as that Georgia game was. So you're like you got a one loss Michigan, or one loss Ohio State. Yeah, but so you'd have to. Georgia, put Oregon. Oregon's also so got a better I would, res, like a better schedule than both of them. They play. Yeah, do they? The Pac-12 is pretty awful. They played UCLA. Who's Michigan played? Huh? Who's Michigan played so far? The, other like the best team Ohio State and Michigan to beat is Penn State. Yeah. That's you can't I'm tell me Penn State wouldn't beat UCLA. No. UCLA is pretty good. Penn State's mediocre. What is it? That Dorian Thompson Robinson or something? That quarterback? He's oh, yeah. raw. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he, he is. good. You know who he sat behind? Huh? Remember Tate Martell? Yeah. yeah. What about him? Anybody watch QB1? I watch that show. I think yeah. Tate Martell is. Bishop uh, Gorman. They both is. went to the same high school in Vegas. I, I don't know. I think I, UCLA is a lot better. I, I'm pretty, I think they're really good. Not really good. I don't I think, think they're, they're pretty good. I, I, they're better than Penn State. I don't think they're better than Penn State. Penn, I don't think Penn State's that good. I guess we'll I think Penn know. State's better than you think. I think UCLA's a lot better than you think. I think UCLA, I'm not saying UCLA's a bad team. Could they're you have UCLA means, and Penn State playing a bowl game? Or Actually, it is possible. Because there's a Big yeah. Ten and a Pac-12. Yeah, the Rose Bowl, possibly. But that's not going to happen. It'll be the best Pac-12 team, which will probably be Oregon. Yeah. And then if one of the Big Ten teams don't get into the playoff. See, but like if they put if they put Oregon in, if Ohio State's playing the in the floor. Rose Bowl again, I swear to God, I'm gonna lose my mind. See, if they put Oregon in, they're gonna have to put them in at the four Just, uh, going against Georgia. Could Tulane still get Man. a New Year's Six Bowl game? I f- I don't think them teams should get a New Year's Six no. Bowl game. I mean, they're playing teams like. Louisiana Tech and all yeah. of them. Like, they shouldn't deserve no. a bowl game. Uh, no, a New Year's Six bowl game. Man. Yeah. They, no. they deserve to get a bowl game, but not like Here's the thing. The, it's not like the times that they put them teams in the New Year's Six bowl, they've done bad. Yeah. Georgia almost lost to Cincinnati. Yeah. Memphis and Penn State one year was yeah, a really good game. Like, you got – I just – like, some of these other teams that have, like, have, like, two losses, but they're, like, to, like – Top teams, yeah. And they should get in before yeah, like that, yeah, that Tulane sense. and all of them. Yeah, yeah, I see that. Yeah, Too, definitely. They're not really playing a whole lot of competition down there. Yeah, but at what? the same time, like those are like cur- like big years for them schools. Like, yeah. let them. We you know, let them. Huh? We have to do that. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah. Uh. I don't know. I was gonna say something, but I forget. <laughs> what else? Did we talk about all the cheating? We did. Yeah, we talked about all that. All the cheating. <sighs> uh, LTs open up. Oh yeah. All right. So uh, next week, the LTs open up and play Friday at Ferry. Uh, we'll have Macy on as a guest to talk about the uh, women's basketball team. Ryan talking about broadcasting. And uh, what soon. he's going to do this season because he's going to be gonna go down. he's going to take over for Floppy pretty much, Alex Baker, and he's going to be pretty much broadcasting. How many games you got this year, Ryan? Uh, like eight. He's got he's got he's got a lot, and then we're all we'll all be there doing them too sometimes. Broadcasting uh, some. And uh, that's that's it. You guys want to say anything? No. Pretty much it. See you next week.